Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are going to be playing Tales of Monkey Island. Now this is one of the first Telltale games that was ever done, so it's been broken up into chapters, so it'll kind of make it easier, so some of my episodes might be a little short or long in regards to that, but other than that, uh, this is the fifth in the series of the Monkey Island games, and sort of, I think it just disregards Escape from Monkey Island to be honest with you, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new one. Yes, I am. <clears throat> and they got a nice point and click interface. It should work a whole lot easier now. Yeah, LucasArts still owns the rights to the game, though. Deep in the Caribbean, the Rock of Gelato. Behold, the legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Rest yet. Half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum! I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. <laughs> nice. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! Arr, three You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har. <laughs> yeah, well, you fight like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Yeah, no time for that Finish crap. Chanting that gonna help. Before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> they make this a lot easier to walk around and click and drag the mouse in that direction, and it's where he goes. It makes it a little bit easier for movement. And we can click items. It's a single click the system. Rush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. Nicky, disease toast. Alright. So, all we need is the root beer part of it. It must be fizzy. Spray cutlass with the, with the uh, enchanted root beer, and it serves one. Pretty sure they got another girl again. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked in that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in a tiny monkey coffin. Of course, of course. Are you okay? I'm fine. I finished the recipe. Do you need anything? I said I'm fine. Just finish the recipe. <laughs> I actually kind of want to continue that track. Let's see. Want me to get anything from the hold? I brought some pot stickers. No! Mm. Finish the recipe! Why do you keep shouting at me? I'm not shouting! I'm projecting! That's true. Best way to speak over a large space. Alright, so. 
a weird little camera angle. Right? So I need to find a voodoo monkey voodoo thing. Oh, gotta use zero keys. Even better. Oh, there it is. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this one. Is this thing sloshing? Or words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. Right? You'll be sorry when my sweet patootie gets his hands on you, Chuck. Right edge of the screen. Oh, sweet. I gotta be careful doing that. There we go. So I'll take it off camera. Off the screen size. So. Oh, oh right click and closes it. Can I open and close it that way? Hey, that'd be nice. Your infernal struggling, or I'll gut you from gob to gizzard. And view it. How you open this thing? Aha! A salty bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. There we go. Oh, uh, we just have to combine. All right, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Hey, root beer. What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Hey. So we got this fizzy candy. That's what it says on there anyway. Fizzy mints. For root beer. Whoa, this city. And now putting that together with the blade. Give us our Prepare to meet your blade. frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Arr! Come and get me a dirt digging <laughs> doily dipper! Stop <laughs> showboating and spray the sword, guy brush! I'm not showboating, I'm <laughs> You're showboating. Oops. Now we're going to die. Again. Oh, wonderful. Okay. No problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure oh, yeah. hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Okay. Cease your in- I'd fire the cannon, but Elaine jettisoned all my ammo after I accidentally sunk her mother's schooner. So now it says that I should be able to Cease talk to her again. Infernos. Elaine! You've gotten ordinarily strong vibes. See if you can swim me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Well, that works too. <laughs> How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. Oh, there goes your boat. My booty! My collection of autographed sextants! Mm, we'll find sextants. Some more sextants later, just stop <laughs> the chuck! Ah, Threepwood! So good of you to join us! Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship! Yes! Yes! Alright. Can talk Elaine. to us more here. Digress? Now that we're reunited, what should we do? First, you should look for a way to replace that root beer you dropped. Sorry it took so long to catch up with you, but I've been busy digging up arcane voodoo items. Did you miss me? Yes. Now put this pirate out of our misery. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the adventures I've been having. There was a death hula, an ice-breathing accountant. We can and... tell me all about it over dinner. Right after we stop the rampaging undead pirate over there. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, what have you been up to while I was out adventuring? Ah, oh, the usual. Mayhem, swashbuckling, a troubling encounter with an enchanted aardvark. Now I'm a whole full of monkeys and Captain Personality over there thinks he's gonna marry me. Again? Talk about obsessed. Well, oh yeah. Flattering if I wasn't so married and he wasn't so dead. What's LeChuck doing with all these monkeys anyway? I think it's some sort of blood sacrifice in exchange for the secret language of Plankton. Or maybe he just really hates monkeys? It's all been a little vague. How would he want to talk to Plankton? LeChuck's soul-chilling schemes are usually so well planned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the screen moving makes it hard for me to click things. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to LeChuck. I wondered where all 
all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. <laughs> uh, we got some grog. It's, a of light grog. it's like real grog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. Light grog. <laughs> Chuck the plant. Those roots could really use a trim. Oh, it's got big roots. We can make root yes. beer. Yes! Uh, oh, I know. I'm just not that into you. We can cut them. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There you go. There, much neater. Now. Poor little guy. I wonder oh. if it'll have phantom root pains now. Oh, I wasn't trying to talk to him. <laughs> Here we go. It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. Oh, I want to talk to Lechuk real quick. Lechuk. What? What's with all the monkeys? Are you trying to learn the secret of Monkey Island again? Nay. Hey. Now I be after much darker secrets. Secrets buried deep within the entrails of the monkeys of Montevideo. Huh. Monkey entrails, of course. How silly of me. What kind of secrets do these monkeys hold? Dark secrets. Powerful secrets. Secrets that will make me a demon pirate king. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. You know, it's nice to see that your repeated deaths and dismemberments haven't dampened your enthusiasm. Would you mind releasing my wife? She gets a little cranky when she's tied up for more than an hour or so. <laughs> your wife? Nay, <laughs> Elaine is destined to be my bride. Destiny, Destiny. Elaine's my wife, and she's not marrying you. She's Give already marrying. Get on me nerves, Geekwood. Elaine. Oh, for pity's sake, just running through with the cutlass so we can all go home. As you wish, my love. I'm pretty sure she was talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Listen, see this ring? It means that Elaine and I are married, hitched, cohabitating, eternally betrothed. Till death do us part. Got it? Till death do you part, eh? We'll have to do something about that. <laughs> Ooh. Testing. Yeah, Alright. Alright, we'll go on and uh, continue what yes. I was trying to do here. Yes! I'm gonna go ahead and put this root into the light grog. Let's see if these roots add anything to this horrible not grog. Yeah, this root grog is bland, joyless, and jejun. It's also flat. Jejun. Oh, if it's flat, we just put some more of this fizzy stuff in there. Now there that's you. some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey stuff, though. Alright, hang on. Oh, good. Middle click will get it. That's even better. Uh, take this. Sword, put okay, it in the enchanted root ground. Make yourself <clears throat> useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threefoot's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hot monkey vengeance. Let's give it to him. LeChuck! Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheepwood. Wait. What's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know. It's so... <coughs> Huh. I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! Uh-oh. What are you doing? 
doing? Finish him. It's not me. It's my hand. It won't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Elaine, guy brush. Of course, he's the one that gets blown away. Well, that's the opening. Tales of Monkey Island. He got himself a piece of driftwood, at least. Would have been bad if he, uh, knocked unconscious, just floating out into nothing. I mean, without wood under him to keep him afloat. <laughs> Can't clear my throat today, I swear. <laughs> Seagull's like, never mind. Based on the characters created by Ron Gilbert. This will transition there. Sucking back a grog and no, oh, my don't, my beautiful pirate don't. I'll get you for this, you craven build rat. Huh. Sorry, okay. I, I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin. Davy Nippikin, senior reporter, Nippikin. Keel Hall of Gazette. Welcome <clears> to <throat> Phantom Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... great. What's your name? Where'd you come from? And how'd you get here? Oh, well, um... I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. <laughs> Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story? Tan just slapped him across the face. Hmm. I need to find Lane. This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threepwan. The winds. Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Huh. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped. Are you Wonder seriously that telling is. me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut, that's the worst pirate name ever. Lane's mother is here. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news pick. stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keel Holland Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, yeah, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this Deep Gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. <laughs> but I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Oh, yeah? I won't have to dress up like a sheep, will I? A deal? Yeah. Our filing news is nice and all. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. 
Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. Okay. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A, a snap. snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> Chapter 1, the launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Alright. So, not all saves for me. So that puts us here. A broken rowboat over here. Well, that's not gonna work. A useless rowboat. <laughs> that something? No, it's nothing. Okay. Let's see what we got. Club 41. Club 41. I wonder what the 41 stands for. Let's go read this sign then. I'm gonna do a little exploration Attention. of this town Club for 41. you. Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. What? So it can't go in, huh? Card? Card? What card? No card, no entry. Alright. I don't have anything. Yep, I lost all my inventory. Alright. Printer's Inc. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Ooh. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. Okay. Let's get some more information from Nipperkin here. Hey, baby. Call me Nipperkin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. So. What sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship season, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. <laughs> That's a lot of bees. Wouldn't you just tell me how to contact Deep Gut? I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? Oh, well, I guess. Well, I mean, maybe. I've still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. Oh, good. I'm a font of Clarification. What do you want to know? What kind of ships are there to seize on Flotsam Island? We've only got one ship on Flotsam. The Screaming Narwhal. It hasn't been seized in years. Well, it's going to be. We're going to call this episode the launch of... Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles, but they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure hunter to give you a hand. Okay. Won't using a pirate treasure hunter to find a treasure kind of mess up the story? Nah, if anything, it'll make it more authentic. Because more now. pirates working together. New arrival helps famed pirate treasure hunter bag biggest booty ever. So I snap in his fingers. Where does a pirate go to start a bar fight on this island? Well, the only bar around here is Club 41. Good luck starting to fight in that joint. They run a pretty tight ship over there. You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Bye. Keep up the pirate, kid. Get? I'm Every time they speak. <laughs> Every time they say something, it's like this little pop-up when he moves. Let's see if I can go inside. It's locked. Oh. No one allowed in there but Keel Haller employees, Leakwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Okay. Yeah, hey. I like, I like doing this walk-around system better. What's all this? Jail carvings. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the bird in brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. Two eyes, one eye, dead eyes, and angry eyes. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Good times. 
the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. Well, what's the science Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. Okay. <laughs> He's working on an answer, so of course the mm, place is locked up too. Today, which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. <laughs> Alright, let's go see the rest of this talk. Loading it in. I don't know, piracy sign here. This is flyer sign. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Lafley, pirate hunter par excellence. Okay. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Yep. That would. Okay, he must have three nipples then. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. Hmm. It's locked. Everything is locked. I guess they don't want me looking around inside anything right now. Oh, I can't go with. Okay, I'm limited. Okay. Ooh, that's a big house. Mmm, flowers. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Yeah, that's weird. The sconce. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. Right? It looks like a nose. <laughs> now they flipped it upside down to, to make sure we understand. If this Morgan Lafley pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads, I'd better give him a wide berth. Mm-hmm. No, oh, put that away. The doctor is busy. Can I go in? Sounds like he's busy. Oh, he's busy with that guy. Giant swordfish. I'm not sure here. whether this is late Rococo or early creepy. Oh, the wind chimes. A scientific thing of a job. Mad scientist, or at the very least, extremely miffed scientist. Extremely miffed scientist. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the end of the dock here. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. It looks a lot like Not his. So fast, my well coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the screaming narwhal, and you are Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh really? What can I do for you, Mister Mighty Pirate? Well. Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the screaming narwhal for over two years. Really? He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Right? Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? <laughs> okay. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screamy narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were huh. they drunk? No, Probably. but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sots look. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition. Whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. Oh. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. Yeah, it took a summer membership card, huh? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card 
when I seized the Narval. How'd you How'd end you... up on Flotsam? Yeah. Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds. I Random was chasing blow. some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of the sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Hmm. Well, we are bounteous if we find all the things you need Be that way. I look forward to it. Now I just gotta figure out how to get home. So let's start by climbing the anchor. Than the old climbing up the anchor trick. Yep. <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that, lad. Oh man. Hey, you know what? I think I see. It had a very emphasis. I've noted from Telltale Games they don't show you something if you if they don't need you if you need to see it. So. To be boarded, then, Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest mm -hmm. stuff in the seven seas. Oh crud! This jacket was an anniversary present, and now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine gonna be <laughs> Yes, but now when I try to climb the chain. The little bit of a char will come across. <laughs> oh dang! Hot, hot, hot! Ow! Yes. And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. Well, yeah, but that would. I thought that was the whole point. Looks <laughs> like I could get that to burn. Oh, oh, okay. That is now gone. I don't think those embers are going out anytime soon. Okay. I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Yeah, well, okay. at least I can set fire to things with this now. So what else do we have? We can try this pulling. Or this crank, as they say. Anything else? I have some socks. Can I take those socks? Hey, there's something in this sock. Hey. Club 41. Probationary member number 37. Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Ha uh -huh. He didn't know. What about the frilly pink underwear? Sheer, sexy, and playful. With plenty of support for the active pirate. Of course. The weather, the weather never ever does a thing for me. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to do that again. All right. Well, I'm going to let this sequence play out. So, hot, hot, hot. Ow. I'm sure there's a purpose to that. I don't know what it is I yet. I keep doing that. Yeah, I don't know either. I keep clicking the wrong spot, to be honest. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is going to be the next quite a while, honestly, because each of these games, there's five of them in the series of Monkey Islands in general. This is the fifth in the series, Tales, but this is broken up into parts much like all Telltale games are done. So, um, so yeah, like I said, I'll try to keep my videos at about 30 minutes as I usually do. Uh, once or twice, you probably end up with some short ones if the credits to a chapter or an act, excuse me, uh, comes up. So anyway, um, if you're enjoying these, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you're interested in helping out my channel, check out patreon.com slash ASRG. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.